Hello everyone, welcome back again to Mufasuke channel. Today we are going to create a simple 2D floor plan with Arcadia 12. Okay, open your Arcadia software. You can double click in icon. And we're waiting to open this application. Next, you can close uh, this dialog box. And also in here. And I will change the uh, work page into drafting notation. You can click the gear icon in the status bar and use drafting and notation. Okay, this uh, will change. You can press F7 to hide code. And you can tap the S, press enter. You can uh, click in a coordinate input. And for MPP snap, you can use all snap. You can select all and click OK. The next you can tap units, press enter, and in here I will set for incident scales into millimeters. Okay. First, uh, we can draw a line object. You can tap L, press enter to create line start from this point, and I will move to the top with uh, distance eight thousand five. Okay, you can use a scroll mouse to zoom in and zoom out, and you can press scroll mouse to use pen. This to zoom in and then zoom out, you can scroll up and down. For a pen, you can press hold and you can use pen command. In it, we can move uh, to the right here with uh, this time uh, 6500. Uh, and in here we can click uh, into this point we can sort at this point and move into here next press C to close this line command so it will be auto connect you can use a copy command tap CO press enter and you can click this line objects move uh, to drag here about 3000 Okay, and we'll copy again this uh, line objects to the top 3300. We copy again this line objects uh, to the top about 3200. You can press escape button to close. In here, I will uh, create line. Okay, you can press shift button, right click, and then choose submit between two points. You can click from this point into here, and then we can move to the button. Okay, now I will use a trim command. You can tap PR, press enter twice, and we'll cut in here. You can uh, use a copy command, we copy. These objects okay to the bottom here about 2500 and then we trim again this uh, line objects okay we create uh, this a uh, simple of frame of our crop pen and I will use offset tools you can tap offset with uh, offset distance 120 now uh, I will use a copy command to copy this line objects. We can move to the left here, 500. And then I will use a trim command. You can press shift button to correct extend. Press shift button, hold and select the objects. Now you can release and cut uh, this line objects. We cut in here and also at this point. Okay. Create a simple frame for floor pen. Now uh, you can use a join command to join these uh, all line objects. Press enter to join. It will be combined into all line objects. And I will use offset tools. You can tap offset with the offset distance 120. You can click uh, this line object with inside. We offset again in it to uh, the left 
and you near to this point and also you near into this point next for uh, these objects you can offset with uh, offset distance 60 click at this point move into here and click again move into left point you can select uh, middle line and press delete button okay now we can use the trim tools you can cut tr press enter twice okay we'll cut in here We cut again at this point in here okay now at uh, this point and last in here okay right at this uh, floor pants now i will uh, Create a simple door. You can use line command. I will create line. So from this point to the top with a height or distance one thousand, and I will create arch object. You can type RFC. Press enter buttons, and I will press C to use a center point. Okay, you can click at this point and move uh, to the right here, 1000, and you can move into this point. Okay, I will copy this line object to the right here to T, and I will create line objects from this point to here, and move to the bottom, 120. Move to the left 50, move to the top 120, and you can connect at this point. Use a copy command to copy this object, start from this point into this point. Okay, now I will group this uh, all entities. You can type a group. Click in here, I will set name into door 1000 and select entities. You can select these are all objects, press enter. You can click OK so it will be combined into a group. I will create again for another door. Okay, in here, I will use a line command and create from this point to the top 800. And then we can create arch okay, from center point. Click in here, move to drag here, 800. Click at this point. Okay, we copy this line objects to drag here 30. And we can create line, start from this point into here, to the bottom 120, to the left 50 the top 120 and click at this point now you can copy these objects from this point into here we create group again you can type group with group name door 800 select entities can select uh, these objects and you can click ok Next, uh, we can move the subjects from this point into here. Okay, we can use some mirror command to mirror these uh, objects from middle point in here. Move to the bottom here, click, and we can press and so it will be quite copy with the mirror tools. We can use trim command to cut uh, this line objects. Okay, we move these objects from this point into here, and also we copy these objects from this point into here. 
and also in here you can use a rotate command to rotate this object to this point and you can move this object start from this point into here okay you can use a mirror command again to mirror this object and in it i will use a mid between two point snap click from this point into here and now you can move to drag it click and you can press enter to copy use stream command to cut this line objects Okay, we cut again in here and also at this point. So we are the attached door. You can click uh, these uh, objects that are properties. Press enter to be open properties uh, dialog box. And if you want uh, to change this uh, door color, you can select all and click in here color. You can change it to blue, this is for example. So, the color will be changed into blue. Okay, and now we can create simple windows. Uh, we can create a recline object from this point to direct, like we can set into 1000. Okay, move to the bottom here 120. 1000 click to the top you can copy this line objects move into here okay now we can use we can change this uh, object color into blue and now i will create group to give them here a window select entities you can select uh, these objects and now click OK. I will use move tools to move uh, these uh, objects from the middle point into middle point in here. Okay, we copy again. Uh, middle point into this point. Okay, I will use uh, rotate tools to rotate uh, these objects. You can tap RO, press enter button, and we can move from middle point into this point we copy this object from middle point into this point and also at this point okay we create uh, this uh, simple windows and now i will use uh, hatch tools to create hatch you can tap hatch press enter button and we can use uh, this uh, default nc patterns for color in here, I will set into yellow. And now for scale, I will set into 150. You can use a pick internal points. You can click here at pick internal points and select at this point. Okay, also at this point, you can click one by one on our internal plane you can zoom in I will press enter buttons and in here I will set again into 300 you can click preview so this is for 300 you can press enter to apply okay it will be applied into this one so we are already heads at the correct heads in uh, this uh, wall object the next uh, we can create text you can tap m text press uh, enter button i will create text at this point next uh, you can change for uh, text height for example i will set into to 150 press enter and now i will tap in here we can tap into room one you can click close editor or click uh, outside to apply so we can use move tools to move uh, this uh, text to this point and you can copy 
this text object into here. Wait, we have this point in here. This point and also in here. Okay, we we'll set in here into room two. And now in here into room three. In here I will set into room four. In here five. In here six. The next in here seven. Okay, very easy to create text with M text tool. Now uh, we can apply dimension. You can tap D, press Enter button to open a dimension style manager. I will create new, and we can active for notation for name. I will set into example dimension. Click continue. Next for modifying here, we can uh, select for precision into zero. And for text, we can set text color into green. And for lines, in here we can set into uh, red color. For symbol arrows, we can use uh, architectural tick, and you can click. Okay, click this uh, dimension. Don't forget to set current. And then this example dimension set current, click close, and now I will uh, select at this point. You can click annotation scale list. I will use, I will create a new scale. In here, drawing units I will set into 500 with name 1500. Click OK and OK again. You can change for scales into uh, this option. 1500 you can uh, click region next you can tap Gimlin to open or uh, to produce a dimension linear okay, you can cut this point into here okay cut again stop on this point to this point and now from this point into this point Okay, you can select uh, this uh, dimension and move into here. We press again. Okay. Now uh, we already create uh, this uh, simple 2D floor plan with the Arcadia 12 of software. If you have any question about this uh, tutorials, you can comment below this video.